Kosuke Hinaji looks like any other Milwaukee brewer in the dugout. But he has a very special role in the organization. Well, my first, you know, my primary responsibility is just to be Nori's translator. Uh, just, and whatever he needs, you know, I want to help out in any way possible. Kosuke is the translator for Norichika Aoki, or Nori, as his teammates call him, the brewer's new outfielder from Japan. Kosuke was born in Osaka, Japan, and Japanese was his first language. But I learned English pretty quickly too, like when I was uh, three or four, so I grew up with both languages. Kosuke makes sure that Nori learns about cultural differences in America, but most importantly, that he learns English so he can communicate with his teammates. I mean, a lot of everyday stuff, like, you know, how, like, where are you from, like, you know, like, what did you do last night, like, you know, how, like, where do you live around here, what, so that, that kind of stuff. Kosuke says it's not always easy being the middleman in a conversation. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I noticed that the, the rhythm of the conversation kind of is, it's tough to, to keep up just because, like, you know, they'll say something, and then, you know, I, I have to, say it and then he'll say something instead of just having like you know like back and forth back and forth conversation it's you know there's always like a little pause in between so I, I know it's like the rhythm of the conversation is a little bit like just a little, a little slow like yeah. yeah. Kosuke's main job in the clubhouse is communication and you would think that would be with Nori but it's the work that he does with the coaches that makes all the difference. Well I would say probably the most important thing is I need a translator because I don't know Japanese. Kosuke is the link between the coaches and Nori on the field. Uh, anytime I see something, talk to him about it. Uh, when we go through our drills, we'll use his interpreter to explain to him so that he has knowledge of what we're doing and how we're to do it. And it can get pretty tricky working with Aoke when Kosuke isn't around. My nickname is T-Bone. I go by T-Bone and so uh, one day we had our outfield drills a couple weeks ago and we were actually using two balls and his interpreter wasn't in the outfield with us so I was trying to explain to him the best that I could that we were using two balls and every time I said two balls he said T-Bone and I'm like no two balls and he said T-Bone it's like no two balls so every time we're in the outfield doing drills he'll say two balls and I'm like no T-Bone so we just have fun with it. But T-Bone says that Nori is picking up English pretty quickly and that may cause a problem for Kosuke. I actually told his interpreter that if he keeps learning all these new words in English uh, he's not gonna need his interpreter anymore so. But Kosuke isn't too worried about his job some things still get lost in translation. Uh, Jerry Narian always says when Nori's coming out of the game is like, you know, you can stick a fork in him. And, you know, it means that he's done, but it's kind of like, all right, well, all right, stick a fork in him. Literally, you know, it just translates to literally, which is kind of like, all right, what, 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 what are you saying? So you got to say like, all right, well, you say it when, you know, you're cooking or something. And, you know, when it's done, you stick a fork in it. And that's why he says stick a fork in him. This isn't Kosuke's first year working as a translator. Last year with the Brewers, he worked for pitcher Takashi Saitao. Saitao moved on, but Kosuke decided to stay with the team when Nori came. He says this season, his job is a little tougher. Uh, just the difference between a position player and a uh, reliever. Uh, Nori's either starting or on the bench every day, as opposed to a reliever where they know their pitch when they're pitching, you know, every third day or fourth day. Or whatever so I mean, last year I got to leave pretty early um, you know most of the days while did it while this year I'm uh, I'm here all, all day <laughs> every day so despite the challenges Kosuke says the best part of the job is getting to be involved in all of the major league action just being you know just being in the environment just being in the clubhouse uh, just watching baseball every day and then just seeing all the behind the scenes stuff of baseball, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun and just uh, really interesting. It's clear that Kosuke isn't just a translator, he's part of the Brewers family. Reporting for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, I'm Kristen Couturier.